unboxing is Before the Seed. So I guess what happens before the seed by Susanna Berman Deaver, illustrated by Gina Triplett and Matt Curtius. And it's by MIT Kids Press. And I feel like maybe it's new that MIT has a children's book publishing arm, or maybe it's just new to me. I'm not sure. But they are making some really interesting books that are not like, oh, I'm so, you know, so scientific and dry. They're actually really interesting uh, books that introduce STEM to kids in a kind of very kind of oblique, you know, like, you know, tempt them into STEM. They won't even realize what they're learning and they'll, and they'll just think it's fun type of attitude. Um, so I don't know who is running things at MIT Kids Press, but, you know, I think they're doing a fantastic job. And this is a book about seeds and, whoa, look at the vibrant illustrations. It's like everything's oversized, kind of like a Georgia O'Keeffe um, nonfiction type of way. And so you'll notice the page spreads have like text for the story, but then there's also these, you know, side panels, not really in a panel, but like more like facts pulled out. Um, but it's really like this... Um, the illustrations and here you have something hyper realistic and also a graphic kind of has a real graphic um interesting shapes and i think it's that combination of something very realistic with something more designy that makes the page you know really easy to read and very beautiful to look at and i kind of like how everything's um enlarged it just kind of pulls you into um this world of plants and seeds and, and insects. Yeah, it is like, I mean, honestly, they're making such interesting books. So this is kind of about pollination um, and pollinators in peril. Um, but yeah, they do it in a very interesting way, MIT Kids Press, I have to say. So this is a beautiful book as perfect for spring as you know, we're all kind of noticing plant life and thinking about gardens and planting gardens. And I mean, a good time to remind everyone pollinators are in trouble. Like you see one monarch butterflies and bees, uh, they're both in, you know, grave danger um, and the things that you can do uh, to help them. I think we, and I think the nice thing is that we all have something that we can do as an individual to help pollinators, even if we think like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't have a yard or I don't live, you know, I don't live, you know, in the country or I don't live near, you know, I don't think there's any bees around me. I think this book will help us realize that there's still something that we can do. And if each of us did one tiny little thing, you know, collectively we're quite powerful. So for me to help the monarchs, I'm actually giving away milkweed seeds as part of my book promotion for food for the future and i tell everyone you know you don't have to have a garden you can just throw it to the wind or put it in front of the school if there's a little patch of dirt or an empty lot or um, a public space um, or you know like a you know a sidewalk if there's like a patch of dirt um, and bees i try to plant um flowers and herbs for the bees, um, thyme and mint, um, and all kinds of flowers. So thank you to MIT Kids Press for sending me this beautiful book, and thank you for watching.